I have a iPhone 6s here and I've seen a few of these already but uh, it's, it's a no image uh, came in had a burnt backlight filter which I replaced um, but here's the problem problem is um, let's see let's go to ZXW real quick so this component right here is a filter which is the touch connection so this was burnt all right and so first off no image go to diode mode start testing each pin and uh, you should you should get a reading on the first uh, the top six pins okay so I got I didn't get a reading on this so I knew that that was short one two I got it on hold on third one's dead now too Third one. What's the third one? Mason. So they're both touch pins, okay? So I'll probably have to double check what's going on here, too. But that is not why I'm really making this video. Main reason why I'm making this video is because of the six pin two four six. Okay, this is shorted actually. So when you when you get an open open circuit, okay, it usually means that you have bust, a busted filter. But when you have something shorted, that means you either have a busted cap or uh, something is shorted to ground from this line. Okay, so let's take a look at the six line here. This six line and this this for some reason the AP to LCM reset Connell has been uh, plaguing me lately um, so six pin six pin here um, two four six so before you even start working on a no image 6s I would check these first six pins in diode mode and I think there's a few down here too you want to check the enable line down here I think it's I'm not sure maybe eighth well we'll check right now So it's the ninth pin on the bottom. All right. So what you want to do is check the first six pin up here, and then ninth pin down here for no image, and make sure you're getting something in diode mode ready for all those. You can compare it to a no good board to find exact values. So what I've been seeing a lot lately is this uh, AP to LCM reset line, and it is shorted. And here's the the problem with it being shorted is that this is the filter. And look where it leads. It leads to this, the CPU here. Okay, so if you take this filter off, you'll notice that there's going to be a short. There's a short underneath. There's a, if you take this filter out, there's still a short to the CPU here. So the question is, where does the trace lead from here to the CPU? So I think if we found that problem, then I think we'd be able to solve this problem. But I have been able, unable to find this short. All right, and I don't know why it shorts out, but it usually happens after a screen repair and uh, uh, one of these filters. This it's usually this filter that's busted here. Um, so the question is why? And I guess if you can figure out where this, uh, <laughs> if you can figure out where this trace leads, then you'll be able to solve this problem. I've seen about five or six of these things already, and uh, and I have not been able to solve any of them. Uh, the first one I was like okay it's shorted CPU uh, forget it send it back and and I think by the third or fourth one I said you know what I'm gonna go ahead and scrape away this this MF -er and uh, and uh, see if I can find the trace okay and I did scrape it away and I, I, I you know I scraped all this away and and I could not find the trace uh, I don't know where it goes um, I think uh, I think I've also did I take a donor board? I'm not sure if I've taken a donor board or not, but I've I probably should get some bare bone boards here and uh, and start scraping away and see if I can find that trace because I think uh, I'm not I can't be the only one that's having this problem. Um, so right now I don't have a solution for it. Uh, I'm sure you know what 
I'm just going to post this sucker and if you guys have had the same problem, maybe we can come together and uh, find a solution to it, you know. Um, but my guess is that it's it's a trace. So these are the two components right here, I believe. Yeah. Let's see. One, two, three. So one, two, three. These three components right here. And then there's a trace that goes from here to the CPU. So, and I don't really even see any long screw damage or anything, you know. So. I just don't see long screw damage. I mean, I guess I probably could. Maybe it is long screw damage, but I think it's. I think it's more likely that the problem is somewhere here. When this filter burns out here, something below it burns out as well. Um, so, does anybody have a solution? <laughs> Uh, I don't know. I'm gonna ask the customer here, and I'm gonna say, "Hey, you have a short uh, on a line that leads to the CPU. It's probably not actually the CPU, but a trace. That trace that goes to the CPU. And and if he agrees, then I'm gonna go ahead and start scraping this mother and uh, see if I can find find the problem to it. You know, <clears throat> but that is a problem that I've seen several times." Um, yeah, I, I will update when I have a solution. <clears throat> I will update when I have a solution. Uh, I think, yep, we will go from there. All right.